So, uh, no, I talk about the mental system. So it's uh, about a mental system for strong survivors or anyone who has a life-changing experience. And uh, many strong survivors have told me that their real problems start when they get out of hospital. So they are very well looked after in hospital. But of course, what happens there is everything is done for them. They basically forget how to make decisions. So they have to relearn that as well. They are right down at the bottom and their confidence doesn't come up because everything in hospital is down on them in a way. Everyone helps them. And the same happens when they get out of hospital, everyone helps them, but they don't actually do them a favor. So it would be good to have a mentor who went through the same thing before and actually starts in the hospital. A lot of um, spouses, husbands, wives, partners, complain about an information overkill because everyone says something else and if doctors talk about a hemorrhage or something like that people simply don't understand what's happening they know something's wrong with the brain and they are in no mood at this stage to open their ears to anything really. So I think it would help if a person explains it calmly to them what's happening because they are confused what's happening. I always tell people, nursing that um, when they talk to our spouses, they should simply say, we don't know because naturally uh, spouses always ask, will he or she be better? And, and everyone, the doctor, the nurse, the physio, everyone says something else and they don't actually know because anything can happen with a stroke or in rehabilitation. So it depends on what the person puts into it. So I always say to them, you just say, look at the person now and if you love them now, it can only get better. And that's what I think everyone should say. Everyone from the medical team. And so a mentor could actually, at the beginning, in the acute stage, the mentor could talk to the spouses and then also to the stroke survivor and later on have less contact, be declining and have it then maybe it's only a phone call a week or being on Skype or something like that. But I think it's important to start in the hospital because that would mean that recovery is fast as well because people feel better. If people know what's happening, they don't fear what's happening. So consequently, a positive mind, a positive body, so the, the recovery is better for them and they are keen to get out there to do the next step, step and start building their new life. And that's basically it.